Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 14th episode of my Black Ops 2 Attachment Guide. In this episode, we're covering the MMS, or Millimeter Scanner, a futuristic optical gun sight that makes its debut in Black Ops 2. The MMS is unique in that it offers a glimpse of enemies through walls. In real life, a similar technology does exist in the form of full-body scanners, such as those employed at security checkpoints at airports and other sensitive locations. They employ EHF radio waves to form a three-dimensional image of a subject, capable of seeing through thin materials such as clothing to reveal contraband beneath. Quite some distance from Black Ops 2's depiction, with the small sight unit of the MMS emitting energy sufficient to penetrate multiple layers of brick and concrete. In-game, the MMS is available for the assault rifles, SMGs, and the shotguns. As an optical option, you won't be able to use any other sights on your weapon, but beyond this, combining FMJ is forbidden as well. This is presumably to limit your ability to kill quickly through walls, and this will mean with the lower penetration weapons such as the shotguns and SMGs, you will be unlikely to kill an opponent through thicker cover. The attachment's effects are twofold. As an optic, the MMS behaves in a similar fashion to the reflex sight. The only real difference is that the MMS provides a lower default zoom than the reflex, at just 1.1 times magnification. This will preserve a larger portion of your peripheral view while aiming, but may slightly harm your longer ranged ability. In addition, the larger viewfinder will leave you vulnerable to EMP grenades, as the loss of your reticle might make it difficult to aim. This is rectified with hardwired, although this occasional threat is perhaps not quite enough to justify the perk selection. The second effect of the MMS is far more interesting. A pulsing wave of energy will reveal stationary enemies when looking through the site. Pulses occur every couple of seconds and will reach out up to 25 meters, giving you sight through cover thick or thin, including obscurance such as smoke. Toss a smoke grenade into the fray and your enemy will likely be left blind leaving you all the time in the world to take aim at their silhouette. Not all enemies will be visible, however. Only stationary enemies will be detected, so you won't be alerted to foes on the move. In addition, the cold-blooded perk will render your opponent invisible, so it's wise not to trust the MMS entirely when clearing buildings. Still, any warm-blooded camper will light up as clear as day, and you might catch a glimpse of a mobile enemy pausing to resupply. The Millimeter Scanner is an entirely usable optic with a unique ability to see through walls. And while the latter trait is rarely useful, it can sometimes divulge your enemy's location and prevent your death as a result. The low zoom means it's a great choice in conjunction with the adjustable stock, as you can move swiftly while aiming, retain much of your peripheral vision, and receive notice of stationary enemies lurking ahead. It's also a natural pairing for weapons with good wall penetration ability, the assault rifles and KSG perhaps the best suited to shooting through walls. It only really works within an aggressive role, however. The low zoom means an alternative optic will be a better choice for a longer ranged role. The MMS is also arguably of lower utility on the weapons with poor penetration characteristics too. While knowing where an enemy lurks will make your life easier, entering their domain to eliminate them still poses a certain risk. Still, it remains an interesting alternative to the reflex sight and has few downsides for a close-range build. Should your enemy lurk like a skeleton in a closet, with the help of this X-ray vision, you'll fracture such brittle defense. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me for the next attachment guide, when I'll be covering rapid fire. Until then, farewell.